Hello and welcome to day 90. You have reached the last day. You have done it. All you got to do is sit back and listen to me or watch me here on uh, YouTube and you will have completed this wonderful journey uh, through the book 12 Steps to Holiness and Salvation by St. Alphonsus Liguori. So without further ado, let's begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask that you open our hearts and minds so that we may hear your voice and be given to courage to act upon it throughout this day. Amen. So, the last section in the book with St. Alphonsus is entitled, The Hour of Death. When the hour of death is at hand, it is above all necessary to be resigned to the will of God. Our life on earth is a continued storm in which we are in constant danger of perishing. St. Aloysius Gonzaga, who died in the bloom of youth, accepted death with joy, saying, I am now, I hope, in the grace of God. I do not know what may happen to me later. Therefore, I gladly accept death at this moment if it pleases God to call me out of this life. But then you will say, Aloysius was a saint, and I'm a sinner. Listen to what the Venerable John of Avila says. If our soul is only in a moderately good condition, we should desire death in order to escape the danger of losing the grace of God. But you may say, I have not yet gained any merit for my soul. I would like to live a little longer and do some good before I die. Who gives you the assurance that if your life is prolonged, you will not be even worse than before and perhaps be eternally lost? Why do you desire to live, says St. Bernard, when the longer we live, the more we sin? If we truly love God, we must have a desire to see him face to face in heaven and love him with an endless, unchangeable love. But death must open the gates to eternal life. And therefore, St. Augustine, aglow with love for his God, cried out, O Lord, permit me to die that I may come to see thee face to face and enjoy thee forever, where I hath not seen nor ear heard, neither hath it entered into the heart of man what things God hath prepared for them that love him. This was from the letter of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. Oh, to know scripture as well as St. Augustine that at our final moments we are crying out the words, the inspired holy words of scripture. And that's a nice goal to have, isn't it? Um, but the fact is, is that as we're concluding our journey right now, um, this is just a way station we are to be continuing on this journey. And I think that is the most important, you know, thing coming out of the hour of death. One, we must be desiring to be with God. And if death is his desire for us to take us out of where we're going to be tempted and you're going to continue sinning, um, you know, then say yes. You know, say yes. Thank you, Lord and trust that he is going to be able to finish whatever purification might be necessary uh, so that we may be able to behold him in heaven. At the moment of our death, we make that choice again. We come before our Lord, and, we, and this is our particular judgment, and we make that profession of faith and say, yes, I want to be with you for all eternity, Lord. And if you make that choice, then you will go to heaven. You might be in purgatory for a bit, you might need some purification, night, you know, but the fact is is that you're on the path to heaven. Now, a lot of people, you know, will say, "Hey, just like here, I'm not gaining a lot of merit. I want to live longer so I can do more good, so I can do more purifying of my of my soul along with God's grace. I want to do that." And that's a worthy goal. That's a worthy goal. So, but no one knows the time that you have been given. No one knows the time when we will be called home. Therefore, 
We need to live now. We need to live as fully as possible as we are capable of with God's grace to say yes with every fiber of our being, with our will, with our mind, but especially with our heart and soul. To say yes, Lord, lead me on the way of life. Lead me on the path to being with you for all eternity. But we have to be loving God. We have to trust that life here is not anywhere close to what life in heaven will be like. And when we trust that, then I think we are more capable of being able to be like St. Aloysius Gonzaga, of where he says, I gladly accept death at this moment if it pleases God. This is where we must get to. We must trust that God's plan is going to get us to him if we but say yes and allow ourselves to be his instruments, if we allow ourselves to be transformed. And how we do that, going back again, first step, daily prayer and meditation, spending time with him, uniting our will to his, allowing him to inform us and transform us because holiness is transforming union with God. That's what it is, but we've got to start with spending time. Second, we got to get all the graces we can get. So going frequently to receive Holy Communion, going frequently to receive the graces that are in the Sacrament of Reconciliation by going to frequent confession, by being attentive as much as possible to the graces that you've received and then allowing them to transform your heart by being attentive to them. Third, to use all those graces, to use that all of what God has given you in conversation with him to be able to strive to do your best each day to grow in virtue, to become a little bit better. Great athletes, elite athletes, look for only a 1%, 1% difference. But that 1% accrues like interest. And what it does is that that compounding interest, that 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, eventually... We we're able to stand before our Lord and say, Lord, do you see me? Do you see you in me? And when he says yes, then we have become like him. We have become his image in his fullness. And the fourth way we do that is by abandoning ourselves to his will, by growing in faith and trust that he loves us so much, and he does that if we have even the smallest smidgen of a desire to be with him, to love him, he will take that desire and he will transform us and he'll give us all the graces that we need. He'll also give us all of the crosses, all of the challenges, all of the purifying events and challenges in our life that we need. Be it humiliations, or whatever it is, he will give it to us. He will ensure that we become detached from all of what is preventing us from being able to draw closer to him. So what is your resolution for today? What is your resolution for now? And as we conclude this journey together, take the next step. That's your resolution. Take the next step. Don't stop here. Continue on the journey. There's a bunch of resources that are at my website, sayyestoholiness.com. Hopefully you've already found them and have made use of them. But in particular, I invite you, if you're struggling to figure out how do I do all of this in my life and what are the main things, even though I've talked about them some, what are the main things that I need to be about, particularly in my spiritual life, in order to really draw close to God and allow him to transform me? then go and sign up for the First Things First online course. It doesn't cost you anything, okay? You can sign up. If you give me a donation or, you know, a dollar, whatever, I don't, I, I mean, honestly, it's, you, you pay what you want. That's how it's set up. So, but it's there so that you can continue this journey. So do that or pick up another book, or listen to my podcast, or the YouTube channel, or but do something. 
continue this journey. Don't lose this forward momentum. That's part of why we went through Lent and then also through Easter. And we're not quite through Easter. This is ending five days before Pentecost. It's ending to give you that opportunity to truly be able to go into the upper room and to be able to wait alongside Mary and the apostles and all the saints and await the coming of the Holy Spirit in a new transformative way into the life of the church. And you are part of that church. You are a member of the body of Christ and the body of Christ is the church. So go and trust that fourth step. Trust, Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, take care of everything. Jesus, I'm here waiting. Help me be able to receive whatever it is you desire to give me, particularly whatever gifts of the Holy Spirit. But your resolution is to keep going. If you want personal help, you want to sit and you have a con you know, conversation with me as a thank you, reach out, christinasimmons at gmail.com, and just put finished Lent Easter online retreat or finished St. Alphonse's book, um, you know, would like, you'd like to sit down and I'll send you a link. So my name, christinasimmons at gmail.com. Send me, you know, an email saying you want to sit down and talk about how you can keep going. And glad to sit down with you and have that conversation and no cost again this is i'm not trying to sell you anything here okay i'm trying to help you my brothers and sisters get to heaven you help me get to heaven this journey has been just as much of a blessing and grace in my life as i hope that it's been in yours as well so know that it's together that we're helping each other work out in fear and trembling of our Lord, not in fear that we're going to be punished, but in fear of wonder of the many graces that God has, we're working out our salvation together. We need one another. The body of Christ is less if you're not there. And I would so miss you being present at the heavenly banquet table. If you stop, keep going and trust God's going to show you what to do. But I'm somebody who can help, so reach out. Don't be too pride and prideful and not reach out. Nothing silly, no question is, you know, is stupid, okay? And if I can't help you, I, I will connect with somebody who can. That's part of why I love doing my podcast is because I do food for the head, heart, hands, and feet, but then also I do one-on-one -on -one conversations with a whole bunch of people out there with awesome apostolates. The Holy Spirit is raising up so much to help us be able to come to heaven. And that's why I do it is so that you can be encouraged to know that God's, you know, Holy Spirit's working in people's lives and also to be able to connect you with those resources and things that you need. Because you can't be everything for everybody. Can't be all things for all people. And because I'm not God, <laughs> but I can be an instrument. I can help. And that's why I love doing stuff like this. So again, let me express thank you, thank you, thank you for journeying with me. It has been such a privilege. It's been such an honor. Thank you. And let us continue to rejoice. Let us be an Easter people. And Alleluia is our song. Our world so desperately needs that. And this is not pie in the sky. This is not Pollyanna. This is not, we're, we're not seeing the reality of the world, but rather we see the reality of the world. And the reality is God has won. But we have to live that each day to witness it to others who are in despair, discouraged, losing hope. And it could be you're, you're that person. So reach out for that help. Reach out for that encouragement. Look to others to help you and accompany you on this journey. We need spiritual mentor or director. We need a small group of friends. We need our guardian angel and the communion of saints. And we need Mary in our lives to help us be able to get through this storm in which 
were threatened to be drowned and to perish at any moment. But, but, the victory has been won. All it takes is for us to say yes and to do our part. God will take care of the rest. Thank you again for being with me. And I so look forward to, you know, if you are not already on my larger email list, if you're not already getting notifications about, you know, podcasts and YouTubes and stuff like that outside of what's going on here, you know, uh, for the, the last 90 days, then, you know, keep your eyes out because I think I'm going to do something like this again for my own you know, uh, sanctification, as much as I hope it is for you as well. Um, But first, um, I'm going to be going on the Camino. So this is kind of a time piece, you know, that's going on. So at this point, I'm getting ready to go on the Camino to Spain if you're going to be doing this and or you came in late. Uh, But in 2023, from May 25th to June 12th, Uh, My husband and I are going to be on the Camino in Spain, and we're projected to get to Santiago de Compostela on the eve of Corpus Christi in Santiago de Compostela. So know my prayers for each and every one of you who have made this journey with me in real time, and then also for all of those of you who are coming in the future. So you might be a few days behind, whatever, whenever you finish this. The fact is, is that I will be offering prayer and sacrifice. And in the Kairos time, God's time, all those prayers matter. So know that you are being prayed for in the midst of that journey. But after I get back from that, then I'll be looking again to do something like this again. So keep keep uh, your eyes out for emails or notifications or, you know, but... Make sure to uh, to keep journeying with me. I, I love the fact that you've given me your time and your trust and know that it is appreciated. If you want to support me in any way, shape, or form financially, if that's something that you want to do out of gratitude for whatever graces that you've been given, you can simply go to paypal.me forward slash Say yes to holiness, and you can make a donation. Or you can do it by signing up for the First Things First course, and you can do a donation that way. That That's an easy way to do it as well. But if you do feel like I want to express my gratitude in a financial you know, way, um, I'm not going to say no because I use everything that people you know give to me, and I use it in order to do stuff like this and not charge anybody. So PayPal dot me forward slash say yes to holiness or go and sign up for that first things first course and when it says what do you want to pay pay what you want you can do a one-time donation there so again god bless this has been a little bit longer than the others have been but i just wanted to take the time again say thank you know my continued prayers and i look forward to seeing you on the road as we continue to journey towards holiness. So keep doing whatever it takes so that together we can tell the master of death, not today. God bless everybody.